Look, it's a farm. I don't see any animals. It's just a field with a gentle breeze. It's so peaceful. In Spanish, a farm is called una granja. Una granja. At this granja, a farmer is carrying peppers. You can grow all kinds of amazing foods at una granja. This is una granja, a farm. Una granja. Una granja. I have to tell you, my absolute favorite part of visiting una granja is seeing the animals. All kinds of incredible animals can be found at una granja. Farm animals are called animales de granja. Animales de granja. Farm animals. These animales de granja are sitting in a hot air balloon basket. Wait. Okay, none of these animales de granja have a license to pilot a hot air balloon. But if they did, imagine how high, how far these animales de granja would go. They would be like, woo, let's explore the world. I told you there was a big world outside of the granja, Billy. Billy's the uh, name of the pig. So, animales de granja live at a granja, don't they? It makes sense. Now let's learn what some of them are called in Spanish. First, una vaca. Una vaca. A cow. Una vaca. Here's una vaca, here to say hello. Una vaca means a cow. Can you say una vaca? Bien hecho. Well done. If there is more than just one baca, you say bacas. Here we have muchas bacas, many cows. There are muchas bacas, many cows, in this field. Muchas bacas. So, animales de granja are farm animals. The word granja means farm. This is una baca, una baca. And this is un pollo. A chicken, yeah. Un pollo. Un pollo, a chicken. Pollos don't have teeth. They peck at their food to make it easier to swallow. This pollo is pecking at its food. Un pollo means a chicken. But what is a little chick called? Well, a chick is called un pollito. Un pollito. Aww. Look at these pollitos. One pollito is like, hey, I need to help you get out of your shell. And the other pollito is like, wow, you're covered in feathers. And the other pollito is like, okay, we are all covered in feathers. <laughs> At least I think that's what two pollitos would say to each other. I, I think it's a, it's a guess. It's a guess. Let's see. Bacas? Bacas? Can you say bacas? Yeah. Bacas? And these are what? Yeah. Pollos. 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 And of course, you remember what these are called. Pollitos. Pollitos. Who can forget you, pollitos? Not me. Not me. All right, now it's time to learn what horses are called in Spanish. If you've ever wished upon a star, hoping to learn what horses are called in Spanish, then your wish is about to come true. In Spanish, a horse is called un caballo. Un caballo. Un caballo, a horse. Hey, these flies need to leave this caballo alone. You might remember from our insects video that flies are called moscas. Moscas like the eyes and faces of caballos because of the moisture. Moscas can really irritate un caballo. Un caballo. Dos caballos. Tres caballos. So what is a horse called? Yeah, un caballo, un caballo. How about a cow? Uh-huh, una vaca, una vaca. Great, how about a chicken? 
Right, un pollo, un pollo. And do you remember what chicks are called? Yeah, they are called pollitos, pollitos. Bien hecho, well done. Aw, look at these smiling animales de granja. What if this was a portrait of animales de granja in real life and they were actually smiling just like this, all together holding their smile while the artist drew all of them? I mean, that that would be pretty cool, wouldn't it, you know? Well, I think it's time to learn how to say pig in Spanish. A pig in Spanish is un cerdo. Un cerdo. That's fun to say, isn't it? Un cerdo. What is a pig called in Spanish? That's right. Un cerdo. Un cerdo. Las vacas, the cows. Los caballos, the horses. Los pollos, the chickens. Los cerdos, the pigs. Ah, tres cerdos. Three pigs. Tres cerdos. Oh, I'm, I'm talking too loud. I forgot. These tres cerdos are trying to sleep. We have to be quiet. We don't want them to wake up. <laughs> okay, well, now that I can talk at a regular volume... What if we learned how to say goat in Spanish? Wouldn't that be cool? Let's do that. Let's learn how to say goat in Spanish. A goat is una cabra. Una cabra. Can you say una cabra? Uh Uh-huh. Una cabra. Una cabra. A goat. Una cabra. This cabra is enjoying a meal. Mmm, that meal sure looks like it would be tasty for una cabra. Here we see muchas cabras, many goats. Muchas cabras. These cabras are just having a wonderful time in a field. If you would like to say the goats, you would say las cabras. Las cabras, the goats. Las cabras... Los pollitos. Las vacas. Los pollos. Los cerdos. Los caballos. All right, we've learned so much. Hey, let's see how much you remember by playing an Animales de Granja review game. Let's start with this. What is this called? Do you remember? Yeah, una granja, a farm, una granja. And what are these called? Uh Uh-huh, animales de granja, animales de granja, farm animals, animales de granja. What is this called? Uh Uh-huh, una vaca, una vaca. Bien hecho. Well done. Okay, what is this called in Spanish? Yeah, un cerdo. Un cerdo. Oh, what's this called in Spanish? Yeah, un pollo. Un pollo. Awesome job. And how about this little creature? What is this called in Spanish? Uh Uh-huh. Un pollito. Un pollito. Great. You are doing an awesome job. Okay, let's try this one. What is this called in Spanish? Yeah. Un caballo. Un caballo. Bien hecho. Well done. And finally, what is this called in Spanish? Yes, una cabra, una cabra, bien hecho, well done.
The next time you're at a granja, see how many of the animales de granja you remember in Spanish. And if una cabra eats from your hand, please wash your hands afterwards. Please. For real. Special thanks to our patrons for making videos like this possible. If you would like to support learning videos like this Spanish learning video and get cool tattoos, click the link below this video or visit homeschoolpop.com. As always, you are awesome. We hope to see you next video.